I started Bura Studio Nepal in uh, June, like the as a brand started in June, but I started selling the product by the mid of June. I think it was like around 25th, 26th of June. I mm, I didn't have any mar uh, marketing plan or anything to or strategy to sell the product, so I just opened the Instagram in like June and then started posting pictures and I added all of my friends and they, everybody liked it and then that's how it happened and like my personal account and Instagram is like I didn't have much followers or anything but when I put, put, started posting pictures of my work, artwork and the clothes people started to respond and send, like started to send messages like hey it's really cool it's nice where is it where can we buy the product and then it was all mouth of word and friends helping friends and then that's it we didn't have any we didn't pay any money for marketing or anything like that Welcome. <laughs> it's a base, you know, like studio, like if you don't have a studio, then how can you like create new stuff? You have to come here every day, you know, one mindset, you know. When you are at home, you will be lazy and then oh, I'll do it in half an hour or like, you know, I'll do it tomorrow. But if you have a working studio, you know that you have to work your ass off because you're paying rent. You're paying to the people who are working here. So you, ha you, you're not just providing yourself, but you have to provide for so many people like staff and then like, you know, the lady, working lady who comes to clean all the like floors and everybody so you have to look after other people so then that get me motivated if i don't have money how i'm gonna pay them so for that i have to work harder and like so it's motivating <laughs>